friends how are you and I've been away for a while I'm being very inconsistent aren't I with the videos actually uh, put some lights on actually it's a bit dark in here today um, I've got a few weeks now coming up that are really busy welcome back to the channel folks I hope you will um, I've got a busy few weeks coming up daughter's home from uni for a few weeks then we're moving her from because she was in uni digs. So then we've got to move all her furniture and all her stuff into new accommodation um, in the next few weeks. I've got my son and daughter-in-law and grandchildren coming over from Ireland as well and uh, to visit soon. And it just feels like a bomb's exploded in my life and everything's just going everywhere. I'm really happy family are coming to visit. I'm really happy that I've got my daughter home um, for a few weeks and I'm really happy that um, we've got a lot going on. It's nice. It's all good. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that the in inconsistency with videos may go on a little bit longer. So I'm just apologising in advance in case I don't get around to doing a lot of videos over the next month or so till everything starts settling down again. I think once we get to September will probably start settling down again because the daughter will be back at uni, other daughter will be back at college. Everything will get back to normal, won't it? All the schools are back in England in September because we're, we're, we're in the summer holidays in England here now, which goes on for six weeks. So everything tends to be upside down for everybody at this time of year anyway. I'm sure it's the same for you guys in America when the schools are out for summer and all that, I'm sure. I'm sure you've all a lot going on as well in family and things. So I'm just doing a little catch up here today. It's Saturday today. It's just gone afternoon. Um, I've just got back from Aldi. I've just spent about 60 quid. I've got potatoes, carrots, broccoli, cabbage, eggs, a chicken, whole chicken. I've got these lovely chicken wings. That's what I thought they'd be lovely. Like a barbecue and a Chinese chicken wings. I'm cooking them up today but they're going to be for tomorrow before we go to church because I think we're having a lunch at church tomorrow. So I tend to, if, if we're having a lunch at church on a Sunday, what I tend to do is I, use, I do the Sunday roast on a Saturday at home and then I cook a little type of buffet sort of picnic thing up for the Sunday to take to church with us. So Tomorrow we've got some sausage rolls, we've got some chicken wings, we've got some salad, we've got some ham and egg sandwiches and some tuna sandwiches. I'm making all them up this afternoon so that they're all good to go. Um, in fact, the sandwiches I'll probably do in the morning in a salad, but everything else I'm cooking and preparing this afternoon for church tomorrow. So tomorrow I don't really have to do much because it's our day of rest on a Sunday here. We try our best to rest in the Lord as much as we can on a Sunday. Don't always work. So I'm just going to do a roast chicken dinner. Let me show you the chicken. It's just, I'm not doing anything with it. I normally do some seasonings like garlic and onion and leek and, and lemon and stuff like that. But I'm just going to do it plain today. I just feel like having a plain roast chicken. So that's in my Dutch oven ready to cook. I may just put a little bit of seasoning in there. Just, you know, we all like a bit of seasoning, don't we guys? I'm just trying to straighten you up because you're lopsided. There we go. That's a little bit better. So I've got a chicken that I'm going to put in the oven when it's got to temperature, which it's just done now. That was good timing, wasn't it? It's just gone beep. The chicken wings only take 45 minutes. So I think I'll put the timer on for them now and do them all together. Oh yeah. So that's 45, isn't it, I said? So I'll just put these in the oven now and oh that's so heavy. 
I've got a really poorly back today, so not much housework's getting done today, I'm afraid. I'll just have to try and catch up during the week after work each day. We had um, a nail in our tyre, back tyre in the car yesterday. Oh, it keeps happening. I don't know if we're being targeted, I don't know if it's just random idiots leaving nails on the floor or I don't know there's a lot of there's a lot of unruly teenagers in this town that cause a lot of problems for people but it's also <laughs> could be anybody from it or it could be just an accident but we had a pop tire yesterday I'd, I'd been doing the favour for church yesterday I'd gone to visit with somebody who needed um, some help so me and another lady from church were busy yesterday doing some church work and I've driven over to the next town to visit with this person, pick my friend up from church and visit with this person. I just pulled up outside this person's house and one of the neighbours went, do you know your tyres fell out? And I'm like, oh, I thought it was, but I wasn't sure. Said, yeah, it looks like there's something in it. I went, oh, thanks for letting me know. I'll, I'll sort it out when I get home. So we get some and I said to husband, like, you know, tyres flat, we need, we need, I think we might need a new tyre. <laughs> So he looked at it and he went, yeah, there's a nail right driven through it with a washer on it. The nail could actually put a washer on it. So you could stand it up so that when you rolled over it was... So I've got a security camera now, front of house, watching, recording. I'll catch the buggers if it is being targeted, if we are being targeted. I know there's a few people had the cars targeted around here recently. So, and garages and houses and everything's a few, but a few things going on around here at moments and um, you've got to be a wits about you wherever you live haven't you so this morning we didn't get time to really do much because he went to get a new tyre for me turns out we didn't get a new tyre the guy at the place we use really nice sound business they are we managed to get the nail out fix the tyre seal the tyre, check that it was okay and then put it back on so it's going to cost us a tenner which I'm really thrilled about. Ten pound bargain in it. So I was like thank you God. Really looked after us on that one. So really nice guys at that tyre place though um, in the next town to us. Really lovely guys. Um, I've, I've, I've gone there for years. Every car I've had I've gone there for years for my tyres. So yeah, it, Andy got some, my husband got some vacuuming done for me today uh, but I've not been able to do any laundry I've not been able to do anything really so I need to the, to the supermarket my daughter went with me to help me carry bags and, and do all the heavy work so she's just chilling out now because she's not feeling so well and um, I thought right well I'll just stay in the kitchen get the potatoes peeled and do the veg and um, just looking at the time for the chicken and um, I thought I'd just share a few moments with you really just to say hi because I'm, I'm really missing you and I like to catch up with you so yeah we've got a lot going on um, well, I'm so excited about my son coming back over from Ireland because he was here in February as you know um, with wife and my daughter, beautiful daughter and all and my gorgeous granddaughters so I'm really excited about that, really excited. So I'm hoping, maybe in a month or so, I'm hoping to be able to get a flight out there to spend a, a weekend with them really, because I haven't been over for a while. And it'd be nice just to spend that time with them. So I'm, uh, yeah, I thought I'd just do a little catch up with you and say hi. So that's the potatoes done. I'm just going to parboil them and then pop them in the oven to roast afterwards. Or oh, my air fryer. I might put them in the air fryer. We'll see. If I've got enough going on in the oven with all the stuffing and everything else, I might just put them in the air fryer. I might just pop them in the air fryer. So you can't even see what I'm doing, can you guys? That's the potatoes in the bottom steamer. Pan. So, uh, yeah, um, what else do I have to tell you? No, I don't know. I 
tired me. Um, let me check up this, this um, wonky carrots, don't you love them? Um, let me check up at the doctor's this week for my blood pressure. Now, listen, when you get wonky carrots, you really get wonky carrots, don't you? Reality, wonky carrots. So, yeah, um, I went to the doctor's t this week for my annual check-up. And um, they said my blood pressure's still high and they don't see me ever coming off my blood pressure medication. They think it's genetic because my family's had blood pressure and stuff like that. So I think it's just going to be something I have to live with. Um, a monitor. I do have a monitor at home, so they told me I've got to monitor it every few weeks for a few days. So then yesterday I had to go back again because I'd have my blood done. Um, it's all routine, it's nothing to be concerned about. So you like to just make sure your kidneys are functioning well when you're on, on blood pressure tablets. So we do a few little tests just to make sure you're okay, kidney function and everything else. So. But I've lost two stone nearly. Um, I've only another five pound to lose, and then I've lost two stone because um, I've been going to the gym. So I've kind of altered my diet a little bit as well. I'm eating a bit more plant based stuff. Well, we are. As a, as a couple, my daughter won't eat plant based stuff. Um, she she doesn't like it. As she doesn't enjoy it at all. <laughs> she likes her a steak <laughs> um, but we have been eating more plant based foods which we've really enjoyed uh, we do still have chicken and fish but we cut down red meat by a lot I probably have about 3 or 4 meals a week that contain red meat we're probably having one meal a fortnight now that has red meat in it uh, like a bolognese or something I did make a bolognese with corn uh, the other week and it was disgusting Corn used to be really nice, but they've changed it. Absolutely disgusting. So I'm not using the meat alternatives, um, the, like the whatever it is, soya or whatever it is they use. Um, it's disgusting. <laughs> Aldi used to do one that used to be nice. I might try that, but uh, oh, absolutely awful. Just get rid of these peelings. So I'm sure you don't need to watch me chop carrots up, do you really? You all need to chop carrots up. So I'm just going to give these a quick rinse. They're going in the steamer. So I'm just going to slice them. I'm not doing anything posh. I'm basically trying to do everything as quickly as I can so I can sit down and rest my back, to be fair. I mean, Whole house needs cleaning. Do you know it's not just untidy? You know, when I look around, I think oh, my house is filthy. It's not filthy, but to me, it is. So I'm hoping, just gonna look at my calendar actually. Um, Yeah, we've got a few th we've got a few things going on for church. My daughter, my eldest daughter's birthday today. She's thirty one. Happy birthday, Boo! And um, she's already had presents and a card and everything. And uh, so that's today, but I saw yesterday instead before I took to go out to this church thing. And I think we've got a church day out this month. We're going to like a. Sometimes we have a day out at church where we go to like a pack a picnic up and we go to like a, um, a national park somewhere or um, somewhere really nice, like a nice nature place, reserve like, you know, woodlands and stuff like that. And we just go for a nice walk and uh, 
have lunch together, give each other lifts who haven't got cars themselves. You know, we all like do it. Or turn up at church and just dive into everybody's cars. So that's nice because we usually manage to give somebody a lift when we're going. If need be. Um, so that's something nice to look forward to, isn't it? Got a few nice things to look forward to this month, to be honest. Which is it's nice when we've had quite a lot of stuff going on that's not so nice. Um nothing massive. I've lost people that are having a lot more awful stuff going on in the family than I am, you know, friends. But uh it's also nice when you're going through a, a certain season of difficulty that you've got nice things as well to look forward to, you know. So hoping we get to go on that day out with the church soon. I think it's on a Saturday. It's just nice to have that fellowship with your church family. So potatoes, carrots, broccoli and cabbage. I love cabbage. It's my favourite. And then any chicken that's left over, I'll do I'll use during wheat from the whole chicken I'm cooking today. I'll just use during wheat for meals, curries and things like that. I might just do a chicken pot pie. And then yeah, that's it really. I don't have anything to tell you. I'm going to try and get back to doing my quilt soon because I haven't shown you that yet. I started a quilt, sewing a quilt at the beginning of the year. And as you know, when my family comes to visit in February, we had to put everything back in the loft just to make room for our visitors. So I didn't pick up, I, they all went up in the loft, I didn't pick it back up again. Um, kind of lost the interest in it really. But, I did say to my husband, I would like to get a couple of quilts made for the winter. Not necessarily just for us, but if we have another situation like we did last winter where the, the utility bills went sky high and um, none of us could afford to put a heating on, um, I might, might need to give, give a couple of quilts away to people just to help them keep warm through the winter. So. I really would like to be able to get um, get a few quilts made up before the winter. Just simple ones, nothing fancy. More functional than fancy. So I might try and get on with that project with you soon. I've got more sewing things to do. I've still got my bookmark to make for my friend um, that asked for before we went on holiday. So I need to get that done as soon as possible as well once I've got my sewing machine back out. And um, I'd like to do that before my son visits actually at the end of the month. So that when I put my stuff away again, I'm not waiting for another long time to get things done. You know what I mean? It's, it's one of them, it's, it's trying to fit everything in. So that's the veg done. Um, I just need to empty my cupboard out over there, which I'm dreading to find some of my little like Tupperware type boxes so I can get some salads made up and things put in there for tomorrow for the church. So I need to empty all that out. I have to get a daughter down to help me with that when my back being so bad today and uh, let her crawl to, the <laughs> to get stuff out. So yeah, that's it today friends. That's all I've got. Just a bit of a chinwag really. Just a bit of a chinwag just to catch up with you, ask how you are, or all are, how are you all doing? And um, just to say, I'm gonna try my very best to get back into a routine next week to get a few more videos out if I can. But just for this month, it is a bit hectic. So I'll put out what I can, you know, if I can do something, I will uh, with you. So um, a few projects, I want to make some jam actually. I might do a video with you because I've got some apples and strawberries 
and I always make, if I'm making strawberry jam, I always make apple and strawberry jam because there's plenty of pectin in apples. Uh, so I might be doing that with you soon. Although I do have some liquid pectin I could use as well because I don't have any jam sugar. Um, so yeah, I might make some jam with you over the next couple of days if I can get round to doing that. And uh, that'll be the next project I think. I think we'll do jam. Um, it's, it's, I, love, I love homemade jam, it's so better, so much better than shop bought. It, it just, it's just nicer tasting I think. So we'll do that together I think friends. So for now I will just say goodbye, God bless, take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.